Thank you, Tony. I wasn't expecting this to speak in Spanish, but that's my favorite language. <laughs> anyway, lo que está sucediendo en este día, le doy gracias a Dios por estar aquí representando a la mujer, especialmente la mujer latina. Mi esposo y yo hemos estado orando frente de una clínica de abortos en el 20 de South Broadway por más de tres años. Y nosotros sabemos muy bien que la mujer no quiere tener un aborto. La mujer quiere tener a su bebé, tener la ayuda de su bebé, tener la ayuda del esposo o de lo que llaman aquí el boyfriend, tener la ayuda de ellos, porque ellas comprenden, muchas de ellas hemos notado que no saben lo que es un aborto, que no saben, no han visto lo que es un aborto. Porque cuando ellas van a Planned Parenthood o a una de estas clínicas a abortar, ellas no le enseñan el bebé en, en el sonograma. Les hacen ver que miren a otro lado y no pueden ver la vidita que está ahí, el corazoncito del bebé latiendo ya a los 18 días. Mucho hemos, hemos recibido esta información por muchos de los testimonios que hemos recibido acá en el 20 de Sabroway en Yonkers y lo que hemos leído nosotras. Ellas lo que quieren es que las, los hombres las ayuden, que la familia los ayude, que estén presentes cuando ellas caen en un problema que ellas, eh, como de este, de quedar embarazadas sin, 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 estar, eh, sin estar preparadas. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Is enough. Is enough. Is enough. Is enough. Okay. Our next speaker is Hermie from Our Lady of Mercy. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, first, I didn't know that abortion clinic was here. That's kind of sad when I live in a community. Um, definitely spread the word. Um, I encourage everyone. I know I've been in the pro-life movement for quite some time now. And what people can do is just come out and pray the rosary. You can stand anywhere here and pray the rosary if you don't feel like speaking or if you don't feel like that like you can approach someone but come out and support to show another thing that I saw and I'm extremely excited about is to see the young people coming out here and speaking out yes. um, you are abortion survivors okay um, we don't need to have a rocket scientist to see the effects of abortion especially in the black community as being I'm a black woman as you can tell. <laughs> but the sad part is that you see the effects in my community. I was born and raised in the Bronx. And this also will happen to the Hispanic community. They're after you also. You know, um, abortion in the black community is three times the rate, okay? We're pretty much committing genocide. And again, you don't need numbers, you don't need statistics. You can just look around your neighborhood, especially if you live for more than 30 years, to see the effects. Okay. Also, to encourage pro-lifers is that, that, you know, when slavery was existed and it was legal, right? Everything is legal, doesn't make it right, but it was legal. We had a small group of people called abolitionists, right? And there were a small group of people. Did they have an effect? Yes. They had a huge effect. They had, and there, a lot of them, the majority of them, were Christians, right? And also people of religious background. We're encouraging everyone to come out and pray. We do represent change, and the change will happen here. And it will happen. Abortion will be illegal, eradicated in our country. We know that. It's, we just want it now. <laughs> we know that's going to happen. We know the future. Okay? But be on the right side. Okay? If you, if you can see just the effects. With slavery, if you are associated with it, would you come out and say that I was associated with it now? I mean, most of the people are pretty much said no. It's something that people try to suppress and hide, even with prejudice, okay? People who are prejudiced, people who are racist, they're not going to come out and say, I was a racist or I'm prejudiced. They won't do that. That's embarrassing. The same thing is with abortion, 
okay? And hopefully, in a couple of more years, we still stay together and we still pray, okay? This will be an embarrassing thing for a lot of people. Unfortunately, it's very comfortable. I was sitting on a bus yesterday, and this is, you know, God in, in a God way. I'm sitting on a bus, and this young lady's talking on the phone. You know how people talk so loud, you know? And you overhear conversations. I like to overhear the conversations. So, <laughs> but anyway, she was recounting a friend of hers who was uh, pregnant again, and of course she was black. Okay, and she was talking to her friend. She's like, she's pregnant again. She just had a baby. She's definitely having an abortion. But she's saying it loud and proud. You know, it's not something that's loud and proud to say. Abortion really do hurt women. When I was at the Crisis Pregnancy Center, that's when I became pro, um, truly pro-life, is sitting there and speaking to women who've been affected uh, by abortion. They cannot go back. You know, they can't go back, but they definitely can go forward with the grace and mercy of God, okay? But they still have that effect. And what we're trying to do is to protect as many young women and young people from experiencing that. We don't want them to go through that to find out, okay, well, this is something I shouldn't do. We don't want to. So in order for them to not go through that, let's try to come out, let's spread the word that there's an embarrassing place around here called an abortion clinic, and even more so, spread the word of who and what happened in the past and what this person, this doc well, doctor, you know, doctor in quotation, has done. We need to reveal the past. We need to heal people and people will understand. And we also, like someone said earlier, we approach everyone with love. Once you approach someone with love, it's kind of hard for them to just kind of uh, just blow you off all the time. They will blow you off sometimes, but they, you know, it makes it harder. But be encouraged. We know that abortion will be eliminated. It will be illegal. Okay, but stand on the right side. Be a part of this movement. It is a pro-life movement movement. That means we're moving all across the, the nation and in some states you should see the effects. In some states there's only one abortion clinic in the whole state. I would love to say that about New York City. I would love to say that about New York City. But unfortunately this is the bedrock. We have people, young people who are coming from other states coming here to have their abortions because Planned Parenthood is very, very active here and they get millions and millions of dollars to promote it. And how does that affect the local abortion clinics? Well, their advertisement, their attraction, and the politicians that they pay, okay, to co promote this movement, they, their movement, affects every, all these other places that can open up. So that's why it's important for us not even just to sit here and just come out, but also to make our vote count. Okay, I'm black. And I'm proud to say I did not vote for um, Obama. This is not the rally, but I did not. And, you know, although I don't have anything against him, but I pray for him, but he does not. And someone said, well, you're a single um, side. The most innocent of human life. How can, I, how can I trust you with my money? How can I trust you with my food, my job, and everything else? Okay? Right. We have to put things in, per in perspective. God has gave, gave us the power, the wisdom and understanding to help our young brothers and sisters. But also we have that gift from God, the wisdom of understanding what's taking place. That's a gift. Because some of us, like myself, I was like, when I was younger, didn't really, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, woman's right to choose. I didn't fully understand, but by the grace of God, he gave me the wisdom and understanding to understand that. So we have to impart that. We're like the older brother and sisters with the knowledge, right? And we have also the energy to do that. And it comes from the Lord. So let's always remember that. But it will happen one day. But we have to get this out of our community, okay? We have to stand up. And I thank everyone for coming out. I'm traveling this evening to go see my family, but I don't care. From Angel.